Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel One in You. This is Santosh and in today's video I am going to share with you a small project how to create a random color generator uh, which I made um, particularly focusing for the beginners and uh, in this particular tutorial I am going to create an HTML file and add the Tilewind CSS utility classes to prepare the front end and I am using the JavaScript to make uh, a dynamic app and um, so let's See the demo once the user click on the click on random um, color generator so it will change the background this is very small program and um, as I told you this is especially for the beginners um, hope this particular video really helpful and uh, build confidence like how easy JavaScript is all about and uh, at the end of this particular video I'm also giving you an exercise uh, if you want to try on your so let's um, see the demo So this is a small demo that we are going to build. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe. Let's jump into the coding. So let's start. Let's create the HTML boilerplate by pressing the shift and exclamation symbol and then tab. It will create the basic structure and will name the title as random color generator. Okay, so now we'll save it and we'll open our live server. Okay, we got the random color generator as a title. In the body, we need two divisions one is the header division, and the second division is to show the background color. So we'll first define that header and uh, a dot bz container. Okay. Then in the header, we want to keep as page title as h1. And a button to click on it. Okay. Now we'll add the Tailwind CSS as a CDN. We can go to Docs, play CDN, and copy the script and add in the head section. You can see the difference in the live server. Now, first we'll work on the header section. So, now we'll use all the Tailwind CSS utility classes to design our HTML page. Flex. First, we'll make it as a flex container. And we'll keep it as flex column. Because if you keep as flex row, both the button and page title come side by side. So we'll make it as column to keep it center. Okay, use the class as item center. It's items center. Okay, and we'll give in background color, busy gray of 100, and we'll give a minimum height of 40. But now the both the page title and the button are very tight to align the items properly i use the utility class justify around good now we'll start work on our page title we'll make it a little bit bigger and bold for that i'll use text to excel it will increase the size of the page title and I'll make it semi bold font semi bold. That's it. Now we'll work on button. So we'll make the button a little bit of white background 
and a little bit of padding on both the sides to look better and we'll give some kind of shadow and hover effects so let's see one by one so first we'll make the background button as bz white and we'll make the we'll give the padding good we'll make the text of the button as same font semi bold so it looks a little bit good and we'll give the shadow but if we give some kind of border it looks somewhat better so border Okay, and to make the edges rounded, the utility class is rounded. That's it. To give the hover effect, hover, and which color you want to display? I want to display as Beijing gray, hundred. So now, if you keep the cursor on that particular button, it changes the color into a little bit of gray color. Okay, those are the styles that I want to give to the button. And the rest is busy container. But if you give as background gray 500, so nothing is displaying. So what we'll do is we'll take these two divs into a different container. We'll make that container as flex. And for this particular class, we'll give the class utility class name as grow but now it came side by side so we'll make this as flex color and to display we'll make this as full screen that's it so now i'm removing this background color now we'll start working on adding a javascript for that i'll create a file called app.js and I'll add it here script source app.js to check whether it is connected or not I'll write an alert here just to make sure it's probably connected I'm connected okay let's do it so let's remove it and when the user click on this particular button okay the action need to be performed the action is nothing but changing the background color of busy container for this let's define a function here and the event is on click and the function name will keep it as color change okay let's write the color change function here function color change and write another here Click. and let's see if it's working or not okay it's working so all we need to now take is a list of colors that we want to randomly choose and uh, when the user click on it one color need to um, get from the list and keep that color as a background of this particular basic container for this I already took some colors so I'll define it as an array And I'll take the array name as busy colors array. Okay. So now we'll write the code here. So we need to randomly get one color from that. So I'll use random function here. Let i equal to math floor. Not random and where we need to append this particular color to the busy container for that document dot query selector In double quotes you can give 
bz container dot style style dot background color and we need to get busy color array of i that's it let's see how it is working so now it is getting each time a random color from the array and adding it to our busy container so that's all um, the code that we need to write um, if you are a beginner definitely um, you might understand how simple it is uh, using tailwind css utility classes to design the front end and writing uh, the javascript code i am also uh, um, giving you a small um, figma file which i have created so this is the design file which I have created uh, for you to do the exercise. Um, everything is uh, very similar. You need to take two divisions and a page title and a button, generate new color combination and the same array you can make use of it. The only thing that you need to change is instead of taking one background division total seven. So you need to make that background container as into seven divisions. Okay. and when you click on it, it has to create a random color in each division. In the next video, I'll be sharing you the code. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.